Hello and welcome to this week's project. In this week's project I'm going to be uh, making uh, a routed house sign and I'm going to be using this image of a motorbike as the the main part of the sign it's about one inch thick I think it's oak I've got here um, and it will the live edge will actually be cut off it and I'm basically going to route out all the black in here and then I am going to add some names onto the board something like something like this so there's no set thing that this is it I'm not quite sure where the placing of these bits will go yet but these names will be all on here I mean that maybe go down the bottom here but I've not decided for definite that's why I've not stuck these on at the moment um, and then the the sign will be cut out all around and in the back I will put some wall hangings in it it may well be bits like that um, they'll be glued in the back just to hold it up but we'll see what the weight and that of it is first so it's all going to be on time lapse because there's not a lot to show you I will stop in between like I'm going to do the bike bit first um, I will use a profile bit to cut all the outlines first that'll be the main thing that I'll do so I'll go around all the outlines and then um, with the now what degree bit is this it's 45 degree bit I will then go back in and clear out um, it'll leave a nice rippled effect which will uh, give it a nice look I think at the end and then it will all be sprayed once I've done this bit but what I'm going to do is I'll go on and I'm just going to go straight in you'll get to see the whole time lapse I think I'm going to go straight in with the profile bit do all the outline then change the bit over come back and take all that out and then I'll um, come back and show you this will be twizzled around probably on this table to get it at the the right angles for me cutting so there will be quite a bit of movement with this going around the table so anyway I'll get it on time lapse and hopefully it's a bit of music that you like and if not you can always mute it and we'll come back after we've got this first part done I hear you breathe, but I can't see If you're right here next to me Something's wrong, wasn't it fun? Is it now we're done? You get dressed, I'm like a mess and you tell me to confess And you tell me to confess Oh I don't know what to say, what to do, how to make you See This is nothing can be a life, it might just have been a bad dream You can run, you can hide, but you can't put the blame on me Because you're to do how to make you see 
Well, that's the bike um, cut out. Um, I went back and did a bit of clean up, um, trying to make sure that this is all below the sanding line. And I also found that here, that there was like a flap on the wood, which quite often happens with oak. So I've actually glued it down and I'm hoping that that will hold now. But when it comes to me spraying it, I'm going to need to cover that with a bit of tape because if not, the, it'll end up with a black line around it. So I'm probably going to do that to snow and just make sure that that's covered. Now, I don't really, I just, I'm just going with the flow here. I need to get the name on next. So I wanted to maybe keep the bottom just as it as it is really because that's a bit tight going in the bottom it'll look crushed so I'm going to place them roughly about there I'll use um, Evo stick, Pritt stick to glue them on and I will give them a little bit of time to dry and then I am going to use I think I'm going to be using this bit which is 60 degree V cutter and I'm not going to go down too far with this but that's what I'm going to use to um, do the lettering with and just hope that it goes okay so anyway I'll put you on a time lapse
okay that's um, everything done done the lettering and that it's not perfect but I was quite pleased the way it came out actually I actually used a 45 degree bit in the end because the 60 degree bit was too deep and it worked perfectly I just managed to just lower it down just enough um, to get these letters and not catch these bits too much the little bits that are left so so yeah very pleased with that and the bike has come out nice so what I'm going to do now I've actually drawn a line all the way around here I'm going to go and cut this out at this point and get the edges uh, in fact to get the the whole board sanded no I'm not just going to get the edges sanded because I'm going to do spray all the lettering and the bike black as well as the edges and then when I sand it back the board will be back to its own colour and the edges will still be black and so will this so I think sometimes it just finishes it off a little bit so anyway I'm going to go away to the bandsaw now I'm not going to put that on film and we shall come back after when we're ready to spray okay <clears throat> that's it all ready sanded off all the edges giving a hoover and trying to make sure I've cleared everything out just using this is just acrylic top coat it's just anything that I can get hold of really and we'll give it a spray now takes quite a lot of spray but it sands off quite well on them um, good hardwoods okay Should give that chance to dry now and I'll just go back over with um if I see any lighter shades I'll just go back over it with that next stage we'll be sanding it all back off again Okay, um, that's the front sanded down. Quite pleased to how it came out. I did have a few high spots, but I'm not worried about those because I'll actually use a black sharpie on them because um, there's just a few of those bits. So I'm now going to sand off the back. Take this tape off because this tape obviously covered a wee blemish on the back there. So just to give the back a sand off and then we'll be just about ready for finishing.
that's it so I shall go and just cover those little bits with um, a sharpie and then I shall coat it with a varnish I think let me just blow any dust off there stirred up a good bit of dust so anyway that's the last of it I shall I'll actually I think I'll take the camera outside and I'll show you me putting the varnish and that on yeah so I'll come back for that bit so the last thing to be done after this is actually just putting the wall hangers on it I should give a, a couple of coats of lacquer first to give it a good bit of protection this is for the indoors so it shouldn't be too bad and I should just use um, small 20 bit holes with the hangers in the back and I'll measure them from the feet up probably because that will be how it's hung I'd imagine okay hope you enjoyed we'll come back right at the end and I'll um, show you some pictures of it indoor okay that's it all done so that was two coats of uh, lacquer I put on the top that's the black side rim which complements that quite well I think and the back and it's got the the two bits for the for a screw to go into in the wall beautiful wood really was a beautiful bit of wood that so yeah i hope you enjoyed this project really um like I say, I was. This is asked. Somebody had asked me to make it for a wall hanging, and I just basically used the wood that I had at hand. And I like oak with the carvings. It finishes nice. It sands nice, and it looks beautiful after. It's got quite a lot of character. This piece of wood. So, anyway, go and give it a try. Just a hand router, a template, and it's amazing what you can do. Like I say, this is nowhere near perfect. Um, it's not like I would have had it off the X carve and it would have had <coughs> perfect lettering and stuff like that. It's not like that. It's done by hand, but it is all done by hand. So, well, done by hand router. So anyway, give me that thumbs up if you like what you see. Thumbs down if you don't. Uh, leave any comments down below. And thank you very much for watching. See you again next time.